Dearly beloved, we have gathered together in the presence of God today to witness the marriage of Lauren and Kevin, to surround them with our prayers and to share in their joy. The scriptures teach us that the bond and covenant of marriage is a gift of God in which these two people are joined as one, an image of the union of Christ and the church. As Lauren and Kevin make their promises to each other today, we remember that at Cana in Galilee, our Lord Jesus Christ made the wedding feast a sign of God's reign of love. Let us enter into the celebration confident that through the Holy Spirit, Christ is present with us now also. We pray that this couple may fulfill God's purpose for the whole of their lives. Love must be sincere, hate what is evil, cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love, honor one another above yourselves. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity. Kevin, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. Lauren, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. And Kevin, by their promises before God and in the presence of this assembly, have joined themselves to one another as husband and wife. It is my honor and joy to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Kevin and Lauren Brunette. And Kevin, this is the part where you can kiss the bride. I can see how you love my sister. You're respectful, you're courteous. I see Claire and Ava, and I see that they also have a great dad who loves and cares for them. He will always be there for you. Because it is different to be a friend 
but you are now his lifelong partner, which means you will get more than any one of us actually get. And if he is willing to do the things that he has done for me, then I know he will be an amazing partner for you. Simply put, Kev, in the words of Dave Grohl, you are my hero. And so many of my good parts come as a direct result of having you for a big brother. I wouldn't be who I am today or have nearly a great taste in music without you. <laughs> Overall, I've come to realize, and Kevin can probably attest to this, that Lauren loves hard. And she loves with everything she has. And those lucky enough to experience it know it's something incredibly special. We want to welcome you, Kevin, to the family. Here's to you and Lauren starting your lives together with love and respect. Cheers. We want to know what is the secret to lasting 65 years? I would say going to church together every Sunday. I, I'm, I'm going to guess it's probably her cooking. You know, you just wonder what your bride's going to look like, right? Walking down the aisle and just blown away. You're, you're beautiful every day, but today you're just stunning and take my breath away. Could we just get a big round of applause for how beautiful she looks tonight? <laughs>